So Space coconut. Here is my thoughts on new weapons, right? There are, there is enough room to add more things sideways here. There's also the option to use this menu to select more weapons also, rather than just the style. And if they shrink the size, we could add more types of weapons. And my idea was that if they added more weapon um, stigma types like ice, decay, uh, water, um, what else could we do? Like, um, I don't know, solar maybe, but I guess it'd be like fire. Um, there, wind even. <laughs> I don't know how that would work, but there are a bunch of different other elements or stigma types that could be used, right? So what if, since weapon stations are randomized on the map anyway, what if instead of where the burn stations were, what if sometimes those turned into ice stations? And that was just one of the one of the uh, stations you had to use. Um, grinding out specific weapons would become a pain in the ass because you might not get uh, the type that you're trying to grind out. Like people really want to get the solar flare, so they'd craft only solar flares. But if an ice thing took its place, then you couldn't craft a solar flare. But the idea is there um, to add different weapon types because if we're on, if we're being honest with ourselves. People are going to get bored with just these types of weapons, right? They're going to want some more variety, even though Teen has the most variety in play styles. They're not going to be satisfied. Players aren't going to be satisfied with that. So adding more um, stigma types to replace uh, uh, crafting stations through their progress, through their uh, the random spawn points for it would be pretty good. And then on top of that, <clears throat> on top of that, you could add different weapon types to it. And so like if we thought of a new fire weapon, right? We have a flamethrower, we have a Molotov, and we have the solar flare. Let's see, what is another fire based thing that we could use? Firecrackers, um, explosives that could kind of work like this. Um, fire doesn't have a one shot like um, the shock sphere or the eye. So a firecracker could work. They could call it the M M89 or whatever giant firecracker that is. Uh, Roman candle. That might be kind of fun. You hold it and it just goes shoop, 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 and it fires fireworks at the monster. That might be kind of cool. Uh, for shock, uh, let's see, we have a ray gun. RC helicopter and an umbrella. So a more mundane shock weapon, <laughs> literally a taser. Uh, that might be kind of funny or, or not, depending on who you are. Uh, let's see. Electricity. If um, if we wanted to get fancy, you could use something like Zeus's Thunderbolt, right? From uh, Percy's movie. So you have a you have a uh, a lightning bolt thing that might shoot lightning bolts like pew pews like the holy slingshot it would just go zoop, you know just zoop, exactly like that zoop. and then it would strike the area and then leave an area of electrified ground tesla coil mm, tesla i feel like that'd be that's pretty close to this right that's that you could you could argue that these are tesla coils right there um but so like this one leaves an area of fire. Uh, the shock does not leave an area of shock. So there there's room to create new weapons that's that mimic what is already in the game. Uh, holy. The Holy Cross and the staff are practically identical. Um, their mechanics are slightly different. The Holy Slingshot is kind of out of nowhere, but um, you could argue a holy water dispenser, but that's really close to the ray gun. Um, we're at six minutes. Hey, right when I, right when I called that, six minutes. Um, so there are options for new weapons. Let's see, what else could we go here? Uh, holy, we couldn't really decide. Somebody bailed. Okay, we'll see if we're in a bugged lobby or not after six minutes. 
Holy, 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 holy. I don't know. Uh, let's see. This one leaves an area of holy damage. So there isn't an instant damage holy weapon. So what could be an instant damage holy weapon? Uh, a vial of holy water is too much like the firebomb, so I don't think that would play. Um, let's see. Holy... The slingshot is a traveling projectile, kind of like the RC flyer, I would argue. You can't control it, but I mean, it's an aimed weapon, which none of the other weapons... Well, I guess the Molotov is kind of an aimed weapon. The lit ray gun is an aimed weapon. The sword is an aimed weapon. Okay, shut up, me. Uh, let's see. Holy, like a stake. You'd have to get too close with that. Oh, crossbow! A holy cross... No, it's just like the holy slingshot. I was super excited about that idea, but it, it's literally a slingshot. Um, uh, you know, to, to shoot vampires and stuff. I was all excited. Did you hear me? I was super excited. Um, looks like I'm the only one in the lobby. Bugged lobby. Farewell, lobby. Hello. Restarted queue time. All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> um, holy weapon. This one's tough. I can see why they had two weapons that kind of did the same thing, right? So what if it was a stationary weapon, kind of like the solar flare? Hmm. Assault. I'm gonna grab a weapon from another game. Assault weapon. Yeah, that'd be more for curse. A holy book. It'll look like an eye though. Yeah, it'd look like an eye and the book could get confused with the Book of the Dead. It could be argued that it's too close to the Book of the Dead. Um, let's see. Holy. This is a tough one. Let's come back to that. Curse weapon. The Enigma. The Infernal Eye and the Cursed Sword. And these are all pretty pretty good. So we have our instant hit. Um, it can be argued that the cursed sword leaves a ground of um, of um, stigma ground, uh, kind of, kind of like this. So the cursed sword can kind of be argued that it does that. <laughs> Product shot, shock, no problem. Um, let's see. Curse weapon, maybe a thrown weapon. All right, so a projectile like the Molotov or the Slingshot. I'm pretty good, pretty good. We are thinking up new weapon ideas for uh, for the wep for the uh, stigmas here. Um, I was stuck on Holy, so we skipped it, and we're working on Curse now. Um, so looking around my room, I have Nerf guns. Uh, I don't think that would really work. Salt bomb. That'd be funny. It's kind of like the Molotov, though. We do. We're, we're aiming for a projectile, though. That would mimic ground. Um. Yeah. You know what? Actually, curse. Huh. Like, I like the idea of um, consecrated ground, right? <clears throat> like, unholy earth, something like that. You throw something, ooh, I got a jar of dirt. You know, maybe you have a jar of <laughs> of dirt that you throw, and then it it uh, makes the ground in the area, like the firebomb, just infernal, right? And then it has all of the little green little skeleton hands reaching up and grabbing the monster and dealing damage that way. <laughs> this is summon your ex. <laughs> uh, I like that idea. Some ground with some scary skeleton hands coming up out of it. But whatever the source was, it'd have to be similar to the firebomb. So what cursed item could be thrown that would create evil ground? That is our current question. What would create evil ground and then if it's oh you know what maybe it would be like the sun the solar flare instead of um creating an aura around it 
it would specifically create something on the ground. There's that idea. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about a weapon there. <sighs> Back to Purify, though. Purify is tricky. I am not sure what we could do there. The Hex Totem, shut up. You're banned. <laughs> they wouldn't even move. Hex Totem. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. Holy weapon. I wonder if I should focus on a weapon. Burnt hair. That's fine. Anyway, th that's my idea. Um, having weapon stations just shift types and elements. So then doing it that way, you could effectively create four more stigmas that just use the same uh, crafting station locations and just replace uh, these things with their inverse. Although Purify and Curse are their own inverses, but you could replace them with something else. So uh, there's that. But leveling everything up, that would be a pain in the ass. People think it's a, a grind now, that grind when you couldn't select a, a certain weapon type uh, until it popped up, that would be a pain in the ass. Anyway, there you go.